up guys, I'm Keller, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to another Force of Will unboxing. As you can see here, I have a booster box of the Time Spinning Witch. Actually, I have three booster boxes of the Time Spinning Witch, and the people I bought this from were nice enough to give me a playmat, even though I didn't buy six. I only got three. Um, that was super cool of them. Anyway, we're going to be opening two of these boxes in this video, and the other box, uh, we're going to do like a deck in the box kind of thing. And that will come a little bit later when I have more time to film that in greater detail but for now let's just crack open two of these boxes i'm really excited this is the day after launch and um hopefully we get some sweet shit before i get into this i do want to note that there is a pretty significant misprint in this set with the rulers uh, almost all the rulers except for like the secret chase rare rulers or whatever you want to call them all of them have um the wrong sides like it'll be like not Lumi on one side and then Shayla on the other side. So yeah, there's a, there's a thing you can do. Um, I would look at the Force of Will main webpage and the Force of Will uh, US Facebook group. And those have information on how to trade these in for the proper rulers or whatever it is based on your region. Some regions get like ruler packs that have like a random ruler in it. I know in my region in the US, you have to mail it in to get the right one. Um, and it is whatever is on the ruler side and not the J ruler side. So if you get um, uh, Umil or whatever, if you get her on the, the ruler side and Shayla on the J ruler side, they will sh ship you uh, this one, the not Lumia. Also, I wanted to note before we get started, this is the first print run of the set. Hopefully the, that misprint does not happen on the subsequent print runs. And also the, the boxes have changed and I think what Jeff Finnegan said, the new global liaison, he said that this is not their choice. Uh, this was something to do with the the printer. So hopefully, starting with the next set, we'll go back to the, the sick-ass, sweet, like, hard shell boxes. But for the time being, we have to deal with these, like, basically garbage boxes. Which, whatever. I mean, it looks cool, at least. All right, we're going to pop this open. We have the... Ooh, there's the, the ruler pack. Pretty interesting. It's just, like, on the top. I was actually curious as to how this was going to be done. So they just like plop it right on the top in the middle. Interesting, and there's no like box top or anything. So this is like harkening back into the old school days. So let's open up the basic ruler pack first, just to see if anything has changed. I don't think it has, though ooh, it definitely has. This comes pre-wrapped. These used to not be shrink wrapped. Interesting, interesting. Um, so we have the promo card. Oh, the fantastic looking Alice's World of Madness. Ooh, it's like the glossy full art that comes in like the uh, the booster packs, like the rare, or no, the uncommons and commons in the booster packs are like this kind of glossy, like glossy full art. I think it looks fantastic, look at that, it looks sweet. Anyway, uh, here's this, I'm not gonna really open it up. We just get um, some basic magic stones, we get the basic rulers, you've probably seen this all before in any of my other videos with this kind of stuff. I really like how it comes shrink wrap though, I think that's cool. So yeah, let's get on with a booster pack. So this is a booster pack of the Time Spinning Witch. It looks very cool. It looks like the playmat, except it doesn't have a uh, doesn't have her. Well, and in any case, let's just crack it open and see what we do. So I do have to note before we get started that these are actually the hard, um, the hard QR codes that they used to use in Seven Kings of the Lands. They're almost like cardstock quality. They're actually they're actually pretty good quality. Anyway, uh, for the first couple packs, we're going to be going. Well, maybe for the whole first box, we're going to be going a little bit slower, just talking about the cards in general. Dark Knight of Conviction. Wait, is this a flip card? Oh, it is a flip card. Uh, so this one is one of the new inverse cards. So it flips into the Sacred Knight of Atonement. First side is the Dark Knight of Conviction. Well, actually, no, it's this side first. Sacred Knight of Atonement. And then it turns into this side. That's weird. I wonder if all the first cards are flip cards. Ooh, find out. We have the Spirit of Mount Howell. Miscalculation with some sweet art. The uh, Beery Beery Ball. Both of those cards are actually really good. Domesticated Dragon. Shayla's Adventure. Looking good as always. We have a... Ooh. Okay, this is a full art rare right off the bat. That is super weird. This is the Blood Sucking Butler Reyes Attendant. Very cool. And then we have the regular rare. Okay. Thunderstorm. I've never opened up any of these packs, so I don't know, like, where the cards are. So this is a regular rare. And then we have our Uncommons. Shayla's Battle and the Ultra Dragon Flame Sphere. Interesting. So it looks like the uncommons are at the, the end, right? And what was my flip card? Is the flip card an uncommon or common? It was a common. Okay. So we're just going to put a line of. Get this out of the way. 
Okay, so all the full art rares and super rares are gonna go down here. Um, rares and super rares are gonna go up here, I think, and I'll just put all of the other full arts here. Maybe I'll do rares, super rares, and then full arts. Something like that, just so you can see what's what. First pack is always a little slow. We're gonna go a little quicker. Flame Claw, Sabretooth, Ferocious Attack, the Escaped Jeweler, Hollow Flame Shadow. We have, oh wait, I wanted to see if the first card was a flip card. Was it? No, it wasn't. Okay, so maybe it's random. Ooh, that's gonna be weird. Mermaid Researcher, uh, Kurosaurus. We have a common full art Blackwing Dinosaur. And I should probably just stack these over the top so you can't see the next card. That is a common full art Blackwing Dinosaur. We'll put the full arts over here. This is the Burgeoning Despair Rare. Fantastic art. I think this card is it's an okay card. I think it's really good in um, Limited. And then we have an Uncommon. This is the Dark Elf Gravekeeper. And followed by the Farika's Expedition. I'm not sure how you, how you say your name, but that's what I'm going with. All right, we have the Mermaid Researcher Approaching the Truth. We have a Magic Transformed Warrior. <laughs> I'm sorry I said that weird. It looked like Mace when I was reading it through the camera. We have Dr. Mermaid. That sounds like a TV show on Fox. A Soaked Panda. We have a Full Art Approaching the Truth to go with our regular Approaching the Truth. And then we have a Grim Hope from the Future Super Rare. Nice, and I believe this is a double face. Yeah, so he starts out as the Grim of the Crimson Moon, and then he flips into the Hope of the Future. Pretty sweet. That was our first super rare. We'll slide that here. We also have the Piggy's Child. All of them are Piggy's Child. Piggy's been busy. Followed by this Dino Bro, the Black Fang Tyrannosaurus. All right, we got Lightning Phantom, Dark Knight of Conviction. It's really hard to see which ones are flip cards. I guess I just have to feel it. Ooh, I like this card. This is the Small Flatterer, Miscalculation. We have the Beer Beer Ball, Embrace of Darkness. I love the art on this. If you couldn't tell from the thumbnail of this video, we have a full art Magic Stone, the Null Magic Stone. Very sweet. Followed by another rare. We have the Piggy Wells, Great Hero Pig. This card is really good, actually. Probably one of the better cards in the set, in my opinion. We have the Leaf Steward Uncommon. And then we have the Possessed Panda, and I believe this is a flip card. Yeah, this is the Panda's Medium. Look at the fucking guy. <laughs> and it turns into the... Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. I fucking love it. Alright, we got another Shayla's Adventure. Mermaid Researcher. Look of Despair. I fucking love the art in this card. Take a moment to appreciate that. That is so cool. I love, like, the super stylized stuff. It's the Magic Dude. We have the Gem Hammer Panda. He... I don't know why. I've been putting a lot of Monster Hunter. Reminds me of the Forge Master Guy in Monster Hunter. We have the Mad Scarlasodon. Yep, that's how you say it. Ferocious Attack. This is a foil. Full art common. We have the Heaven Sundering Dragon Palm Rare. And it's very hard to tell what the fuck is going on in this art. We have Kira Kira and we have a dragon flying out of his fist. He's basically doing like a Hadouken. And then we have the Puppet Mecha. And another Dark Elf Gravekeeper. We got Flying Dragon of Mount Howell, Lightning Phantom, which is pretty sweet art. Black Tears, which has fucking awesome art. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. It looks super sweet. We have the Deadly Pox. I know I flipped through those pretty quickly. I believe this is also a flip. Whoa, okay. So we have this flip card, Deadly Pox. And then we also have the Scheherazade. And I know that this is going to be like something different on the other side, but I'm holding out holding out hope. So this side is the Scheherazade, J Ruler, um, of the Catastrophic Knights, and then the other side is a Shayla. Yep, so this is actually a Shayla, not a Scheherazade. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm probably gonna send them in, but I might not just keep them and then buy the ones that I need, the, the correct versions. I don't know. In any case, Shayla is really sweet. Um, having her sealed ability unsealed is actually really good. I like Shayla a lot. I mean, I liked her before, but I think she's even better now. And I also really like Scheherazade. I think she has some really cool, cool stuff going on. So I'm going to put this here, I guess, even though it's all over the place. And we also got a rare. This is the Bloodsucking Butler. We got one of him already. We have the Last Days of a Powerless Dragonoid. And we have, this is the Thunder Wave, which is, this is a decent card too. Get this sad panda. It's a soaked panda. He's <laughs> just a little wet. 
got the dragon, we got the sea serpent, we got black tears, white sacred beast. Of note, not a sacred beast. What the fuck? We have the small whale. We have a magic electrified warrior, or a magic electric warrior, which looks sweet. It's uncommon. We have the heavenly fruit, which I think is a very cool card. This is one of my top ten cards of the set. Uh, I think it's just a very interesting card. And then we have a evil elemental uprising and a lightning dragon. Uncommon. As always, I'm hoping for a god pack. We have a shifting minstrel. I do know... Ooh, Scarlet's Vision. This is a pretty good limited card. I do know that some of... A lot of the packs... Or a lot of the, the boxes come with uh, Ubers now. I think they're the, the secret chase card. I think they each come with an Uber of one of the starter deck cards. So, we will see. This is a doll audience, which is creepy as fuck. And I just wanted to linger there. Just so you had to deal with it. This is the puppy... Puppet's Last Days. The Puppy's Last Days. That's very sad. We have a foil, a full art lightning dragon. We have a story speaker, Eve, creepy ass puppet boy. And then we got a null illusion. Kind of cool. Interesting. And then we have the unanswered mermaid prayers. So I've decided that every pack does not have a flip card. This is a lonely moon wear rabbit. Fantastic art. Some of the best art on this whole set. We have a escaped jeweler, leaf guardsman, apprentice martial artist, mermaid researcher, Fictitious Fire. We have this uh, Magic Transformed Warrior. We've got all this shit going down. We have a Null Darkness. Super rare. This is a very cool super rare. This says Quick Cast, Destroy Target Resonator. And if you have Null, which means if you have no cards in your hand, which is basically Hellbent. So if you have no cards in your hand, you can destroy a J Ruler as well. Pretty cool. Uh, fantastic art. I think this card will see a decent amount of play. We have a Patrolling Guard Doll. And ooh, I like this card a lot too. Jewel Princess, she blows up a dude when, um, when she enters the field. She destroys a Rested Resonator, and you gain a gem of any attribute. I think this is fantastic for the Tegris deck if you are not doing a Panda theme. If you're not doing a Panda theme, this card is fantastic. Starting it on with the Deadly Pox, which transmographorphs into um, False Beast. Yep, transmographorphs. We have the Were Rabbit. Ooh, this is the uh, Not... Sh or Freyla? Not Freyla, I was gonna call her Shayla. Lily's Protector. Interesting, very interesting. We have Leaf Guardsman, Apprentice Martial Artist, Mist Calculation, or Mist Calculation. We have a, a Full Art Wet Panda. We have a Giga Thunderfish. This card is badass. Badass. It's a super rare Giga Thunderfish. I'm not gonna read what he does, because look at that shit. He does a lot of stuff, but he's very good. He's very, very good. So I think he could be in a good non merfolk mermaid uh, Shayla deck. We have also the Treasure Knight Panda and a Thunder Wave. Got another little mm, tiny whale. Enormous effigy. Got the tiny whale and then the enormous effigy. I like it. Martial artist, ferocious attack, mad Scarlockadon, Scheherazade's marionette. We have another mad Scarlockadon. Pretty sure it's uh, Scarlossadon. Scarlossadon? But I like Scarlockadon. We have a speaking stone. This is a Scheherazade's stone. And then uh, this Jin, Evil Jin, or Evil Genie. And then a Silent Mermaid, which I think is a, another fantastic card. Really good in a mermaid themed Shayla deck, or just another Shayla deck in general. Makes it so your opponent can't play stuff on your turn, which is awesome. Got this cute little. What's a doll? I was gonna say it looks like a little uh, squirrel. I got a cute little squirrel. Uh, Lightning Phantom, Dr. Mermaid. I'm a doctor, Jim. Giant Rabbit, Small Flatterer, Jewel Aura. It's interesting. We have a Panda Performer, Full Art. Of a lurker in the know. Very sweet. I love Cthulhu stuff. Um, what does this guy do? I didn't even see this in the spoilers. He's a one drop, 100, 100. Whenever it deals damage to resonator, destroy that resonator. And you can put it from your graveyard into your hand if you have no cards in your hand. That's sweet. This is a sweet card. I like it. Dino Calling Demon, and then a Treachery, which is another sweet ass card. I love the art. And you can't tell. So this is, this is good old Ayu. She's looking pretty evil. And then down here, you can barely see it, but Welser is dead. Are you fucking killed Welser or something? Yeah, you should see. Try to find it if you can on the internet, the, the actual art of this card, but it is sweet. All right, we got a fictitious fire. Don't worry, the fire is not real. It's not gonna burn you. Doctor Mermaid, Giant Rabbit, Combat Loving Dragonoid. Don't they all love combat? Ooh, we have a full art Null Darkness, super rare. The texturing on this is fucking gorgeous. You can see like the, just like the sun rays coming out. 
I guess it's like not sun rays. This is the opposite of sun rays. The dark rays coming out. Very, very cool. Happy to get that. Um, slam that down. We have a lightning cave rare. Very good rare. Null illusion. And uh, this poor, poor Kirk can't do anything. All right, we have another little uh, scroll bro. Ooh, first time I've seen this. The Soul Returning Altar. This is a double face card. This is the uh, Life Stealing Altar. Or, yeah, Life Stealing? Hmm, why is it the light side Life Stealing? But, any case, I think it's pretty cool. We have the Leaf Reflector, Blackwing Dinosaur, Giant Rabbit. That is a fucking huge rabbit. Which is Shadow, which is a very cool card. We have a full art um, intervention of reality. That's a sweet card. I haven't seen very many um, of these going around. Ooh, nice. This is a uh, Lorite, Seven Luminaries, Astrologian. Very powerful card. Probably see a lot of play. Uh, if I had to place any bets. We have final words. Oh, it looks like Ray is destroying. Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like Ray is killing uh, Welser here. And we also have a Karmic Retribution. Oh, that's that card we just got. The Intervention of Reality. What does this even do? Oh, holy shit, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to read all that stuff. It's got very different things based on what legends you have. I think that's a Scheherazade mechanic. We have Embrace of Darkness. Gorgeous, gorgeous art. Uh, Rescue Collector. Look of Despair. This pack is sick art. Uh, Stagehand Doll. Mad Scarlophodon. I know that's not what you say. Ooh, looking good. This is a Separation of Fates. Full art. Rare. Target J Resonator loses all abilities until end of turn. Draw a card for one. Fucking sweet card. Fucking sweet art. Fucking gorgeous. I love it. I love it a lot. I'm glad to have that. We have a rare Magic Stone of Despair. Pretty good card. It's an inverse Magic Stone. So it starts out like this. And then whenever you do a judgment of your ruler, you inverse it and it becomes like a dual Magic Stone. Kind of an interesting card. We have the Ancient Library. And we have more Piggy's Child. We got Jewel Aura, we got this uh, Intervention of Reality, Sea Serpent, Refuse Collector, Selection, Stagehand Doll, Heroes Bracelet, Uncommon, Full Art, very cool. We have a, ooh, this is Mafina Thunder Cloud Wizard, rare, she, uh, what does she do? She's a 600, 600 for one of any and one water. If a spell or ability you, what? If a spell or ability you control would change a player's weather, it changes it to Thunderstorm instead. Oh yeah, okay. So this is a, like, Turns it into Thunderstorm. Pretty cool card. Pretty cool card for like a Thunderstorm based deck. In my opinion, we have Evil Genie. And we have another one of these T-Rexes. We have Jewel Aura. F f fire. <laughs> we have the Not Sacred Beast. This Knight of Despair. Flip, flip Jabrones. We have Thunder Call. I don't know if we've seen this card yet. It's an interesting one. Turns it into Thunderstorm and you draw a card. Pretty good for the Thunderstorm type deck. Perhaps Twin Dragon Claw. We have a Secluded Village Elf Full Art. Uh, not as good as, like, your Sacred Elf or something like that, but, eh, maybe. As Barrier. We have the Red Riding Hood Recovered Hope. This is a flip card. It's a pretty good flip card, actually. So she starts off on this side. She's a 600-600. She's Dark Riding Hood Messenger of Truth. It says, remove a mystery counter from your J-Ruler. Invert this card. So this is a Rhea card, which is awesome because I love Rhea. And she turns into a 800-800 with Barrier, Fire, and Darkness. This is a pretty good card. Um, this could be a good finisher for like a Rhea control style deck. I don't know. I'm going to mess around with that. I think this is... I don't know. I think it's sweet. And we also have a Angel of Despair. This is another inverse card. So the first side is this. This is the Angel of Hope. Uh, I think it's a pretty good card too, actually. It's a 300... or 200-300 with Flying and Drain for a single... Uh, light, I was going to say darkness. Whenever you do a Judgment of Ruler, invert this card. Whenever you gain life, put it plus 100, plus 100 counter. And then it inverts into the Angel of Despair, which is a 400, 500 with flying. And when it inverts, you can destroy a dude if there is a 100, 100 counter on this card. Pretty sweet. Uh, and then we have this Lightning Dude, the Raiju. Got a Relief Aid, Sea Serpent. We're going to start going through the commons very quickly, though there's still some we have not... That seems the Blazer Thieves Gang Underling. Very interesting. When it comes into play, each player discards a card. Very interesting. She looks cool. Blazer Thieves Gang. Interesting. We have another Lily's Protector. We have an Unanswered Mermaid Prayers Full Art. Full Art. This looks awesome because you see the framing of it. The little dolls here. 
We have a Ferika, Honorable Thief. It's rare. It's kind of cool. We have a Lunar Prophet, also cool art. And then we have, uh, ooh, one of my favorite cards in the whole set, Thought Control. I need more of these. I hope I get more than just one per box, because it's uncommon. I would like a full art one of these. Got my fingers crossed for full art Thought Controls. This is cool, too. Also have my fingers crossed for a God Pack. I have not gotten a God Pack in like two sets. I know that sounds like <laughs> that sounds like first world force world problems. We have a full art sea serpent. We have a Dino Rider rare, followed by the Ultra Dragon Flame Sphere and the Ancient Library. So far, I'd say this box is actually pretty good. It's not too terrible. Oh, that was a this bunny is a flip card. It starts out in this little little chubby bunny, and he turns into this guy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we have this Hollow Flame Shadow, Panda Performer, Kurosaurus, Kurosawa, Silent Mermaid, full art, very, very sweet if I do want to play with this deck. I'm very happy to have the full art of it. Magic Stone of Despair, another one, this is our second one, kind of cool. We have this pumped up guy, and then another Keys' Thunder Wave, which is called Thunder Wave. Got this Jabroni, Dark Knight of Conviction, this is, uh, oh wait, we had this one before? Sacred Knight of Atom- that's the first one we got. I remember guys, I have a good memory. Bitty bitty ball. We have the Lightning Shield, Combat Loving Dragonoid. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. Fuck yes, I wanted a full art one of these. Sword of Fate, and we are going to get a close up of- here, let's see if we can get the, uh, the texturing on it. Yeah, a little bit, you can get a little bit of texturing of it. But holy fuck, this card is sweet. This is one of my favorite cards in the whole set. I think it might be my favorite card in the whole set. And then here's the other side, the Twin Blades of Hope and Despair. It's got like a it's kind of a rough, rough surface, but yeah, guys, super happy to get this. Um, I, I really am excited to like jam this into decks. This is such a sweet card. I've got really good full arts, in my opinion, in this set. We have a Rare Lightning K, we have a Lorite's Deletion Magic. Uh, this is like a quick cast, cancel spell. Not that good of a cancel spell. In Magic the Gathering, this is kind of like a not a good spell, but... We have a Last Days of a Powerless Dragonoid. It's fine, though. Alright, so we got a Spirit of Mount Hoel, Dark Knight of Conviction, Flip Card, the Enormous Effigy, Escape Jeweler, Lonely Moon Were Rabbit, Lightning Shield. I think it's the first time we've got one of these. It might be. Um, we have a Magic Electrified Warrior, or Magic Electric Warrior. We have Miss Hyde, is the rare. So it starts off uh, Dr. Jekyll, and then uh, you flip into Miss Hyde. Very interesting. Very interesting. It's like an inverse card tribal thing. I don't know. It's weird. Patrolling Guard Doll. Then we have a Dark Castle Palace of Despair. Just try to focus like right here. I don't know why. What is here? This is a Dark Castle. Starts off as the Light Castle. All right. We got a Thunder Call. And we're going to flip. I think we're now at this. Oh, no. There's still cards we have not seen yet. Because we have the Soul Concentration. Pretty good uh, Rhea Counter card. I wish it drew you a card. It does not draw you a card. So we have the Soaked Panda, Intervention of Reality, Approaching with Truth. We have a full art rare Mephistopheles. And by rare, I mean a super rare. This is one of the, ooh, nice. Happy about that one too. This is one of the flip cards. Starts out as Mephistopheles and he flips into this other <laughs> Mephistopheles. But it is a super rare, so that's pretty sweet. That is a full art super rare. And we also got one of these Red Riding Hoods. Very happy about this. I definitely want a full play set. I would love a full art one. We have Null Illusion and a Hero's Bracelet. Still haven't gotten our second ruler. This is a Domesticated Dragon, Deadly Pax, Flipper. This is a Knight of Despair, also Flipper. Shayla's Adventure, the Flying Dragon of Mount Hoel, Doll Audience, creepy ass shit. We have a full art Ruined Story Super Rare. Very cool. I, I like this card a lot for Shahrazad. And then we is a flipper. No, it's not a flipper. We have a uh, gem mallet panda is the rare martial arts competitor and a disaster at Sasaru Palace. So I'd like to point out now that we actually have a lot of full arts so far. We have eight, including the ruler. Seven if you do not include the ruler. Selection dull audience variant. Ooh, we got a variant voidosaurus null pierce precision. It's not that good, but it's kind of cool. Variants are always sweet. We have a uh, full art chipmunk thing. We have just a straight up ruined story. Kind of a, once again, cool card. I like it. Well, it's a martial arts tournament uncommon, followed by the Ferica's Expedition. 
So we have the Scarlet Vision Crumbling Majin. That's another one I haven't gotten. There's a lot of cards that we just haven't gotten. A lot of uh, Secluded Village Elf. This is the... It's a flip one? Yeah, Chubby Bunny Flip. We have Magic Transformation. Another another flippy do. We have a Domesticated Dragon, followed by the Mighty Leaf Elder. Rare. Yeah, just a rare. We have the Unanswered Mermaid Prayers, followed by the Dark Elf Grave Keeper. Alrighty, so we got 10 packs remaining. Let's just go. I will open this one up in real time because I'm already talking. We have a Lorite's Wind as a common revival of the clan. Ooh, we have not seen some of these. Crumbling Majin, Lightning Shield, Panda Performer, the Twisted Beast. We have a full art look of despair. Super happy about this. I don't know if I'm gonna play it, but I just fucking love the art on this card. We have a Rebellious Soul Ayu. Fantastic card for the IU deck. It's just a really, really good card. Um, I will be slamming into my IU. This is a super rare. I definitely want a full art version of that. And the Evil Elemental Uprising and a Raiju. Got a regular Voidosaurus and this Panda Bro. A Flippy Doo. Thunder Call. Combat to Loving Dragonoid. Selection. Oh, poor piggies. We have a full art miscalculation, which looks fantastic. We have a Mafina Thundercloud Wizard. Pretty sure that's how you say it, Mafina. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy to get one of those. We have a Black Star Blazer Thieves Gang Leader. Weird? Weird. We have another Thought Control. Very happy about that. Got a Soul Concentration. I'm still iffy on that card. You know, it started out and I was like, yeah, Soul Concentration, all about that shit. But it doesn't replace itself. And I'm just like, I don't know. Is this a rare? It is a rare. This is a Keys Corkscrew. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> That's just the, the sound I imagine it makes. Um, it's an interesting card. Uh, I don't know. I'm surprised to get more uh, full art still. We have another one of these Lurkers in the Knoll, which I think is a sweet-ass card. The Dragon Aura and the Lorite's Deletion Magic. Or Spell Blast, if you play Magic the Gathering. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if the uh, that Rhea card is going to be good enough for Rhea. I don't know if it'll make the cut. We'll see. Got this uh, shifting minstrel, <laughs> Scarlet's Vision, Hollow Flame, Puppet, Small Whale, Enormous Jabroni. We have a Raiju, and then a Null Magic Stone. It's pretty good. It's our second Null Magic Stone. We have a Treachery and another Lightning Dude. This is Lightning Dragon. The Spirit of Mount Toel. Oh, it's cute. It's a little cute guy. Oh, he's cute too. He's gonna be eaten. All cute things must become food. That's not definitely not true. Lonely Moon Wear Rabbit, which is Shadow. We have the Full Art White Sacred Beast, which is not a sacred beast. And then we have, oh, nice, a Sword of Fate. Very happy about this. I mean, I wish they could all just be full art, but I'm, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Very, very cool stuff. And this is a super rare, and we have a Disaster at the Sasaru Palace. And ooh, another one of these, uh, the Jewel Princess. Very cool card. So we gotta have that uh, secondary, you know, chase secret rare thing coming up soon. This is the Shahrazad's Marionette. Oh, we've got one of those. I think we've gotten one of everything at this point now. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit earlier. Oh, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. This is a Uber Shayla the Mermaid Princess. I think you get an Uber rare in every single box, but Shayla is the one that I would want. So I'm very, very happy about this. Shayla is Bay. Bela, call her Bela. Um, obviously, she has her parasol, you know, thing removed or not removed, but she has the ability unsealed. Very, very sweet. Very happy about Shayla. Then we have a Keys Corkscrew. Don't really care about that. Magic thingy, ma whatever thingy. Ooh. Shayla's battle. There, there we go. Get, get all the Shayla stuff going on. So now that we got both of our rulers, maybe we can hope for. Something else. I don't know. Uh, maybe some sweet full arts. We got this Flame Claw Sabertooth. We have the Blood Sucking Vampire. That's the third one in this box. We got a lot of those guys. Uh, Ancient Library and the um, Blazer Guild Leader. That's super weird. So we're almost done with this box. We have a couple more packs to go. Another floopy do. The next box, I'm just going to go straight to the full art. Um, I think that's a good. Another floopy do. A good way to do it, make it quicker. We have a Leaf Reflector, another Mephistopheles Super Rare Flippy Doo card. I, yeah, I'm gonna call them Flippy Doos every single time. I don't care. Treasure Knight Panda and a Dino Calling Demon. So I'm curious 
Um, since we come these uh, super or uber rares right here, I wonder what the chances are of getting another uber rare. Like, would you get three rulers in your box? I don't know. Ooh, it's another full art rare. Farika, honorable thief. Nice. She's uh, she's super cute. Yeah, that's cool. Got a lot of super rare, or full arts too. I'm gonna. Oh, big pig. Nice. Uh, big piggy is a very good card. And we got uh, this stuff. This is a pretty good box so far, I think. I mean, not so far. We only got one more pack left, but this is a pretty good box. All right, so this is the final pack arena. We have a revival of the clan. We have a couple commons in here that we only got like one or two of, which is super weird. We have another. Uh, oh well, this is not another. We have a twisted beast. Good to see it's fuller on both sides. We have a burgeoning despair rare. I think it's the second one we got. Pardon me, that's also a little a flippy do. We have the unanswered members prayers, and we have this. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, and we'll go over some of the numbers here. All right. So in case you were curious, for the first box, we got eight super rares that were not, you know, full art foil kind of thing, which is fairly interesting. I don't know if that is high or low. I don't remember how that compares with the last sets. Um, we did get this Uber Shayla. I think all the boxes come with an Uber, but still very, very cool. Uh, we did get our misprinted J Ruler, which is a bummer. I should note that both of these would have been Shayla's if the printing had been, you know, not fucked up. Um, so this would have been a double Shayla box, which could have been a little, you know, a little disheartening. I would, I would have been cool because I love Shayla and I wanted both of them. Both of them. And then we got um, all of these full arts. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full arts. Uh, and four of them were uh, super rare. So we have the Mephistopheles, super rare, Sword of Fate, Ruin Story, and Null Darkness. Um, two of which are the flip cards, which I'm not sure if that, you know, counts. I don't, I don't know if you're guaranteed two flip cards. And then we had the five full art regular rares one of which is the magic stone so if you don't include the magic stone we got four four and then like a magic stone um out of, out of the rares that we got i think we got pretty good full arts like i'm very happy about sword of fate ruin story and null darkness those are very very sweet cards um the keys is corkscrew i know some people like it whatever um she's pretty sweet uh and i fucking love this card too i love the art um i just anything with imul Lumi I hate saying Imo. Anything with Dark Lumia is uh, very sweet because she's super hot and also she's very cool. So, yeah. So let's get on with the second box. See if we can get something else pretty sweet. Um, is it either? Do you either get a Shayla or a Kirik? Or can you get like an Uber Rhea? Oh man, I fucking want an Uber Rhea. I just psyched myself up. Let's do it. Next box. All right, so here we have our second box. I'm just gonna crack this open. And once again, I'm gonna blaze through this box, go as quickly as possible with, you know, still lingering on some cool shit. All right, so we're just gonna flip straight to the full art. We have a full art Farika's Expedition. Looking pretty good, that's a common. We have a Bloodsucking Butler Rare, and then a Martial Arts Competitor, and uh, this thing. All right, let's see what we got. We got a, this is Hollow Flame Shadow. Ooh, nice. Another one of the Riding Hood Recovered Hope slash uh, the Messenger of Truth. Very happy about that. That's my third one in these two boxes. I got these jabronis. I feel flip cards all around. We have a full art Panda Blacksmith Bro and a Keys Corkscrew. Followed up by this creepy panda dude and this. So I still got my fingers crossed for a God Pack. That would be sick. Ooh, nice. Cool looking full art, Lightning Shield. We have Pi L, the Flaming Fist. This is super rare. We did not get one of these in the last box. And then we have these two uncommons. Overall, I was very happy with the breakdown of the last box. Um, I think we got some really good cards and ones that I will use. Ooh, this is a Mafina Thunder Cloud Wizard full art rare. Very cool looking card. We have our first uh, Magic Stone, the Null Magic Stone. And then these two uncommons. You know, I'm really curious to see what the tournament grinders are going to do with Shayla, because I think she's actually good enough to see play. Uh, we have the Miss Hyde slash uh, Mr. Jekyll, a full art rare. We also have another one of these. And as I drop it, this is another one. It's really cool. I, I want another full art. So that's a, that is a complete set in two boxes. Um, no full arts, though, which is sad, but yeah, pretty cool. Got two lightning-y Shayla cards. 
And then let's see something sweet. Oh, okay. So this is the deck, or this is the box where we have all of the uh, piles. So that's a full art pay Pyel L Pyel L Flaming Fist. I don't know. Sounds like I'm like I'm a Murloc. Pyel L. We have a Separation of Fates. That's the first time we got a regular one of those. And we have this Blazer Dude and ooh another Thought Control. Third Thought Control, I think. Still want a full art one. All right, we'll blaze on through to the back. So this is a full art Ultra Dragon Flame Spear. Speaking of which, we have not gotten an Ultra Dragon so far. This is a Heavenly Fruit Rare, and then full uncommon. You know, I've been thinking as I open up these packs, a lot of these packs, well, like all the packs, feel a lot thicker than normal. Maybe the card stock, maybe, I don't know. We got a Lightning Phantom. We have another Rebellious Soul IU, super rare. Would like a full art one of those. We have a Patrolling Guard Doll and another Jewel Princess, also a very cool card. Would also like a full art one of her too. Voidosaurus. We have a, ooh, okay. So this is the Shayla the Mermaid Princess. I wonder if Scheherazade is on the other side. So we did get like the Shayla in the last one, but it was the ruler side. What is this one? That's Kirik. God damn it. So out of these two boxes, I would not have gotten a new ruler. How much fucking bullshit is that? So this is actually a Kirik card. All right. Well, it's kind of a bummer all around. Eh, in any case, probably won't send this one in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. We also got a Null Page, Treasure Panda, and uh, this Dino Demon guy. Still no God Pack. I say that expectantly. The Stagehand Doll, Home of the Ultra Dragon. Did not get that rare last time, so nice to see a rare we didn't get. Blaze through these guys. We have a, ooh, this is a Puppet Maker. Did we get one of these at all last box? I don't know. We have a Fiorica, Dragon Aura, and this uh, counter spell. I think it's like Fiorica? I still don't know how to pronounce her fucking name. We have a Full Art Small Flatterer, which is kind of cute. We have a Dark Impact. What is this? Destroy a Resonator. You may put a dinosaur from your hand on the field. Dude, that's sick. Some sick dino strats going on. We have some uncommons. Jewel Aura. And then we have, we got, uh, what is this? The Leaf Guardsman Giga Thunderfish. That's pretty sweet. Second Giga Thunderfish. Not in this box, but in two boxes. I got these two. So I guess the downside of like blazing through these is like, it's hard to tell if I got any variants, but I don't think people really care about variants anyway. We have the Appren Apprentice Martial Artist. We have a Lorite, Seven Luminaries dude. Pretty good. Treachery and a Silent Mermaid. Yeah, there's still a ton of full arts I would like to get in the set. Ooh, I mean, that's a not a very good card, but a very nice looking full art. We have a speaking stone, and then some pig babies. And this where rabbit chick. Alright, starting off with a whale, ending off with the oh, so this is a, a rare full art. This is the gem mallet panda. Kinda cool. Ooh, we didn't get one of these in the last box either. We have Rachel the Ancient Library Researcher. Yeah, I didn't get one of these at all in the last box. Interesting. Got some deletion magic and some last days of powerless dragon. So I've decided that this box is not as cool as the first box, though it could change. Maybe there's a god pack lurking in here. That's a treasure knight, dude. We have a Scarlet's Agony. Oh, interesting. So what does this card even do? So this is a one drop wind quick cast. Remove a attacking resonator from the battle. Draw a card. Oh. Oh, interesting. Ancient Librarian and Ginny. Got the Skrillophodon. It doesn't even have an F in it. That's why it's that's why it's so good. We have a Relief Aid, Separation of Fates, second one in this box. Uh, Piggy Patrol and a T Rex. All right, something sweet. Ooh yeah, something sweet. We have a Full Art Ultra Dragon Shooting Star. This is fucking sweet. Look at this guy. You can see the texturing on it. Yeah, this is sweet. This is one of my favorite cards in the set. I think it's a very powerful uh, resonator. Very happy to get this. And then we have another uh, big pig. We have Piggy. I'm happy to get him too. Definitely want a full play set. And then, ooh, nice. That's a full play set of thought controls for me too. So the last pack was pretty sick. Can this pack live up to it? Oh, starting off strong. Fantastic art with the Karmic Retribution. And then we have an Ancient Impact. Uh, this is a, I don't know. This card's kind of cool. 
did not get one in the last box, so that, that's pretty sweet. Got Treachery and uh, that. So the last pack was also decent. This one doesn't seem as good. We have Revival of the Clan. Ooh, never mind. Got another Ultra Dragon. Very sweet. Followed by some final words and another uh, Karmic Retribution. So I do kind of like how these two boxes are like complementing each other in that they are providing me... Oh, dude. JK, this box is fucking dank. This is a full art Rebellious Soul Ayu. I really, really wanted these because my Ayu deck is like all full art right now and I wanted this in my Ayu deck. And I didn't want to put one in if it wasn't full art. So, yeah, let's appreciate the awesomeness of the fucking eyes, dude. This card's awesome. Super happy. This box is now less crappy than I thought it was. What I was saying is it complements the other box in that it has a lot of cards that the other one didn't, or, yeah, a lot of cards that the other box didn't have, which is, which is cool. All right, I can feel that there's a flip card at the back. Could be anything. J Rulers are not in the back anymore. We have a Ferocious Attack. This is our first Lily of the Last Flower. I forgot this card even existed. I think it's a pretty good... Actually, I think it's a very good card for the Dark Elf deck. Uh, and then we have these two things. Yeah. You know, hoping between at least these three boxes that I get uh, at least the playset of everything. We have a Black Star Jabroni Full Art. Rachel, glad to get another one of these. And then we have this Leaf Steward and a Disaster. As we flip to the back, let's see. Ooh, I really like these full art. Like, they just look so good, nice, like perfectly framed. Null page is the rare, and then we have these two. All right, we are once again down to the last 10 packs. Uh, once again, I'm gonna open this one in real time. Maybe we'll get something sick. Maybe we'll get an Uber. Or the, I want a not guaranteed Uber. Ooh, that is a pretty sick card, actually. That is a full art Giga Thunderfish. Very good, super rare. Pretty good super rares in this box. We have a rare, a story listener, Eva. Hmm. I think it's the first one of those we've gotten. And we got two of these. Ooh, nice. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the full arts that I've gotten in this box so far, at least in terms of like rare full arts. Um, ooh, we got a super rare Grim. Also Grim, and then we have these two. Yeah, good uh, good full art so far. Good old squirrel. It's not, it's not actually even a squirrel. This is the uh, Flame Claw Bro. Scarlet's Agony, nice to get one of these, or another one of these, because I don't have a whole lot of them. Uh, Null Illusion, Hero's Bracelet. So we are still due an Uber. I don't know where my Uber is, yo. Ooh, that is nice looking. Uber? Ooh, nice. So we got this full art, um, just common guy. Very cool looking, though. Very, very cool looking. We have a Null Darkness, super rare, and then some other stuff, but very happy to get another one of these. This is my third one. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm still holding out hope that we have a God Pack in this box. We have another one. Is this the second one in the box? This is the second one in the box. Look at it. Interesting. Interesting. That normally does not happen. And then we have the uh, Ancient Impact and some other stuff. And it's really coming down to like the last few packs. Oh, I see. I see the Uber. Never mind. Let's see what we get first. It's another fucking Shayla. Okay. So we got another Shayla Uber. And then we got um, her and then some other stuff. Okay, well, I guess now I, I don't know if you can get like a, a Rhea or something. All right, well, I'm, okay. I guess this is up for trade or selling or, or something. <laughs> Super weird. Yeah, I mean, after opening up these boxes, my feelings on... Oh, this is... This is nice. It's, uh, it's always nice to get the, the full art uh, fl flippy doos. This one's pretty good, too. My feelings on, like, the print errors and the ruler ratios... It's still... It's pretty sweet that they're giving you Ubers. I do think it's pretty sweet. I wonder if you could only get Shayla or Kirik. And if... I don't know. I don't know, I have really mixed feelings about it. So maybe we'll get a non that Uber. Nah. So we got this uh, Spirit of Mount Hoel. The, uh, what is this? The Heaven Sundering Dragon Palm. And then two other things. We still have uh, two packs to go. All right, so I'm gonna open up both of these packs in real time. To see, uh, as I say, like, to show you my reaction in real time as I pull the God Pack. Definitely not the God Pack. 
We have, uh, I think this is a rare. This is a, uh, Dino Rider. Followed by a Dino Rider. And some other stuff. I mean, it's weird that that sometimes happens in this game. Alright, final pack of the video. God pack? Nah. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Maybe we'll get a God pack in, uh, the, the third box when I do that video. We have a full art. Ooh, at least the full art's cool looking. Scarlet's Vision, followed by a super rare Ruin Story. Okay, I'm happy about that. At least the last pack's not completely garbage. So once again, the breakdown of that box. In case you were curious, it is the exact same as the last box. We got eight super rares that are not full art or foil. And then for the full art and foil stuff, we got two rares. One of them, fucking the exact same one, we got Shayla. I mean, I'm not too sad about it, but I'm also kind of sad about it because I got the same exact ruler. And then we have the fucked up ruler, half side Kyrick. Um, both of these boxes would have been starter deck rulers, which is still a problem. I mean, come on, guys. Just, why can't you just give us new rulers? Um, and then the breakdown of all the full arts. I did get nine full arts. Four of them are super rares. And they're pretty good super rares. Getting this Ayu and this Ultra Dragon. Happy about that. Uh, the Giga Thunderfish is also really good, and she's pretty good too, I think. And then we got five just regular ones. We did not get any Magic Stones. Uh, that seems to be pretty random. And we also, for these guys, uh, none of them are flip cards. So, we got one flip card here. So, uh, that's also pretty random. Two of which are the same exact ones. So, the print runs are just, just weird. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you like the video, then maybe leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Stick around for, as I slide this into view, this uh, box opening. We're going to be doing a deck in a box style video for this one. Just see if we can make a deck from the cards in the box. It'll be interesting, uh, especially with all like, the fucked up rulers and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. It'll, it'll be a challenge. These sets will be a, a, a pretty good challenge. But in any case, I hope you guys had a good one. I hope this was a little bit useful to you or you had some fun watching it. And I hope to see you next time. See you later, guys.